Hello guys, what's up? So last week, the international police arrested this guy. His name is James Aliyu, a top international scammer who was operating from here in South Africa. James, who is a Nigerian national, was scamming American citizens. From the comfort of his luxury home in one of the top states in Senten. This guy was a baller and he was big on Instagram too. He made nearly 200 million rands in what is called romance scamming and business email compromise fraud. Romance scamming is when scammers target people who are desperate for love, usually old widows from USA, Australia or Europe. The scammers find their victims on dating sites and catfish them using stock photos. Some victims of this scam have gone completely bankrupt and get deep into debt while sending money to the scammers. How much did you send him? I'll, I'll mm. total well in. What I lost with him was probably well over five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand dollars. Do you have five hundred thousand dollars to give somebody? I did everything. I cleaned myself out. I sold. I sold my house. I had to sell my house because I took a mortgage on my house. This is so totally out of character for me. I've got a very small family, and the family members that know her, they just—it's like. They can't comprehend it because it's so out of character for me. Why do you think you fell for it? Because initially, the first scam, the first time he wanted money was because he said he had adopted kids over there, and um, they needed money. His credit card wouldn't work. I mean, the stories were elaborate. Now, business email compromise fraud is when the scammers target a company's billing or finance department, pretending to be someone who is trusted by the company. Now, this guy James had been a scammer for a very long time. In fact, he was under investigation for the past six years. James was living what is referred to as the soft life. He had a lot of luxury cars and he was always on vacation. Apparently, James have learned from the best and there's rumors that he's connected to one of the biggest scammers of all time, Hush Papi. Ashpapi is the father of all scammers. Not to bash Nigeria, but right now the country is synonymous with scamming. And the biggest scammers of all is Ashpapi, who was arrested in 2020 in Dubai. When Ashpapi was arrested, he was in a process of scamming nearly 2 billion rands from an English football club. Another notable scammer from Nigeria is a guy called Emmanuel Odinigwe. This man sold an airport that did not exist. Now let me say this. Nigerians are also doing a lot of big and good things all over over the globe but unfortunately bad things like drug dealing scamming and trafficking will always overshadow the good things thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe if you have already subscribed to the channel please turn on notification if you have already turned on notifications you're awesome and i want you to know that i appreciate you thank you see you in the next video